Hello everyone, my name is Retro and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White. In the last episode we challenged this giant city gym and got a shiny new freaking badge. It's not really shiny right now, but we could make it shiny very easily. And there's Pokespec's logo at the top. So anyways, uh, in this episode we're in the dream yard and we've got to collect some dream mist for the researcher named... Fennel, I almost called her Mana, but no, that's the Pokemon we get the Dreamers from. So, she gave us HM Cut, and I taught it to Yo-Yo, so now we're going to cut down this tree. Sorry about that. And then head on... Oh, crap, it's you again, you slut. Hi, Retro! Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon, too? And then she's just going to go in. We'll just ignore her, just go straight here. Oh, ooh, I hear noises. What's that noise? Hey! Do you hear the sound coming from the other side of the wall? Hmm, the other side of the wall. Nope. No, but she means the other side of the wall, like this side of the wall. Oh look, a little... I don't know what that's meant to be. Man. Oh wait! Boom, gingers. We found you, Mana. Come on, make with some dreamist. Ma. <laughs> oh my god, one of them's a girl and I'm giving them both deep voices. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Mother Mishana made of vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We can use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. Pfft, right in the ass. Nah, nah. Come on, come on, spit out that Dream Mist. You're kicking your Pokemon to make it give off Dream Mist? That's mean, why? You're trainers too! That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So on that note, we're gonna rescue Pokemon from you. I made him sound kinda like Batman. Well, I don't hurt Retro, but then again, my Batman voice is really bad. So, we're gonna go ahead and fight our first Team Plasma Grunt. So we saw these guys a couple episodes ago in Cumula Town, giving speech about liberating Pokemon, and now we see them abusing Pokemon, so it seems like they're trying to take these plans by force. And I didn't go to the Pokemon Center Teal, I just used a potion because I'm a lazy cock. Anyways, he's going to go with a bite there, so that means the next two turns he's going to hold back any damage we do at it, and then he's going to release it back to us and double, but I think we can take it out by then if we're smart. And by smart, I mean, take it out this hit. There we go. Pfft, I made you wet. You died, just stupid gopher. There we go. We took you out. That's done. It's dusted, and it's awesome, and it's cool. There we go. Plasma. Well, I kind of changed his voice. I forgot what voice he had. Why are you not taking them seriously? Because they're kids? Well, whatever. I'm next. And time to fight the girl who has a deep voice. Now, these people smoke too much. They should probably stop smoking five packs of cigarettes a day. That would probably help their voice problem. Because if I smoked five cigarettes a day, I would sound kind of like that. I probably would sound something like that. And we took the last battle without taking any damage. Wow. So let's see if we can keep it up. Oh, damn it. Almost, almost one hit. But, uh, so let's go with the tackle just to finish you off. Just because I feel like doing that. Oh, I'm super tired when I record this, guys. I'm sorry. It's only quarter past seven in the evening, but I am so freaking tired because I only slept like five hours yesterday. But we, but we have to obtain the dream mist. In the ass. Come on, make it with the dream mist. Knock it off! Whoa! I'm tripping balls here. What are you two doing goofing off? We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties. <laughs> this isn't. Guess this is what he's gathering followers to get us when he's trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah. This is gets us when a plan is failed, he's about to issue punishment. At any rate, I'm sorry I didn't say we're sorry for so he forgives us. I'm bad at reading, I swear. They don't bear in mind Oh my fucking god, it's a fetus. Shut What was that just now? The person called gets this pit all over the place, and it wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? Not Pokemon. Oh. I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that a fetus? Musha. Money! Ew! 
Straight right there. That's disgusting. You stupid. Oh my god. I can't believe you just did that. It's so disrespectful. In public land as well. See? Wish I never felt some madness of seeing Mana in trouble and use its power. We can drink the reality to save Mana, which means we'll wait a second. <gasps> balls, balls, balls! This is a dream mist! With this, I can complete my research. You do come to my house later, okay? If you know what I mean. Whoa. Phew, how random was that? I think she's a little bit bisexual. I was gonna say lesbian, but I realized we're a guy. Or are we? Dun dun dun! Okay, whatever. Let's just continue. Uh, there's some items we can get here actually before we go back to Fennel. I keep almost calling on Mana, but that's the name of the freaking Pokemon. Wow. Uh, no, what Pokemon? There we go. Yes, we did that fine. And you can't really see it well, but there's an item right here. And also, there's a traffic cone there and some grass beyond it. We cannot get to that grass until the post game. Because if someone picks up the traffic cone and moves it one foot the other direction. Like, seriously. You can't walk through it. You can't walk on a traffic cone. So, what? So, would you just leave it? You can't just move a traffic cone. Jesus. It's not even dangerous. They don't even fix anything about it. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. This game's logic. So, I know it's just to stop you, but they could have had better things than that. Could have had, like, one of these freaking barrels that, like, falls over or something in the post game. I don't know. Anything's better than a traffic cone. It's just sitting there. Alright, then let's go back to Horny Mc... Horny... I don't know. I was going to say something around with Horny, but I couldn't really think of one in the one second I had to think. Alright, then. I'm just going to go heal. I'll be back in a second with you bitches to suck on my ass. What? I didn't say anything. Bye. Boom, bada boom, bitches. Alright, I'm back. So, we're going to head into this little building here. And... Gonna go up into the bedroom. Boom, 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 shape. Boom, shakalaka. Play the, the sex music. I don't know. Whatever it is. I was pressing the wrong button. Ta da! Thanks to you, I got some dream mist. I can now collect the files of some various trainers. If you know what I mean. It's a token of my appreciation. I'll give you a blowjob. You can see here. Blah, blah, blah. She's gonna. It's basically stuff to do. Oh. Oh, she's on our computer now. And we get the sea gear. It's basically a, the thing to occupy the touchscreen. I'm just going to say no to this because it doesn't really matter to me. And she's also going to go ahead and explain it. It doesn't really affect the main game at all. It's just for multiplayer stuff. I don't even quite get it myself. But I've, I've not even really paying attention. So all I know, it doesn't matter. Don't pay too much attention. Your game's not going to rely on it. And I'm sorry for yawning again. Jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, Trainer, thank you for helping my lesbian lover, Fennel. She cheated on Professor Juniper, see? You bitch, I'm telling her right now. Oh, wait, we can't call with the cross trainers either. Because this game's dumb. I hate it. I'm going to throw it in the trash. I'm going to hit it with a hammer. And I'm going to put it in my butt afterwards. All the, all the shards of when I smash it from with a hammer are going to go straight up my butt. Right then. So this episode's only been eight minutes. So I don't want to end it off right yet. So, I was about to go heal, but no, we've already done that. It's been completely stupid. Anyways, oh, the water is bubbling. Oh, that makes me so hot. I don't know. I'm so retarded. Um, I think if you come over here, I don't know how I know that, we can get a bar mushroom. Oh, yes, also something else. That reminds me of something. I always forget this. I've got this, like, once, but or twice, actually, before. But now, I'm actually going to get it, and, I, and it's on recording, so that's freaking awesome. You can come back down here, because there's a tree we could cut. And now that we can cut trees, let's cut this one. And this is going to lead us over to a super potion. That is pretty goddamn awesome. And over here, we can also get a second item. This, this route's all about finding two balls right near each other. There must be an innuendo of some sorts. Anyways, we're done with that, so we're going to head on to the next route. If we've gone through Route 1 and 2, what's next? Route 17! Yeah, let's go... No, that's Route 3. Anyways, this guy wouldn't let you pass before. is now going to let you pass with... I was trying to think of a word there, but I couldn't think of one. Oh, that looks fun. Wow. They're like confining Pokemon here. Anyways, let's just go ahead and... Oh, look at two little girls. Hey, little girly. Hey, little girl. I got some candy in my vein if you want some. Mm -mm -mm. 
I'm joking, by the way, I do not condone pedophilia in any way, even though I've said it about 10 times. <laughs> oh my god. I need to have a. What's with my bottom screen? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How did this happen? Uh. Okay. Let's just go with, uh. Let's just try and do this normally. That looks like it's about to break. My game looks like it's about to break. Oh, a critical hit in the foes purloin. I didn't really know what purloin that was. Oh, wow. One HP. I probably need to make a, make a montage of how many times I say pedophile in these videos. Because I say it a goddamn lot. And I am not pedophile. I am not pedophilic is probably a better way of saying it, rather than I am not pedophile, because that doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. Alright then, so let's, he's gonna go ahead and scratch my face, scratch my balls please, I'm very itchy down there, please scratch my balls, I don't know, and well, the cart is gonna finish it, how is Yo-Yo quicker than Scotty? Scotty, you slow bastard, seriously man. Right, Yo-Yo leveled up, and we got between Kumi and Amy. Now, there's an area up here where you can fight some little children, and I'm gonna save that for when I'm horny. No, just kidding. I'm gonna save that for the next episode because I don't think I have enough time. Well, I probably do, but I'd rather do that in the next episode because I think if we carry on down here, and by I think I mean I know, we're gonna come across Sharon, and I wanted to get this done at the end of this episode just to make it a good stopping point. In the next episode, we're gonna go up there and fight them kids. Let's have a stop. We both have a trio match. Let's see which of us is stronger. And yep, he's going to challenge you to your third battle. Remember this. First battle in episode 1. Second battle in episode 3. Third battle in episode 5. Three battles in five episodes. And things next time we battle him, it's after three gyms and then after... You know, it's just so much space between them. It's just stupid. How much space they put between these rival battles after the first three and how close they put the first three together. I'm going on a run about this. I am mad. I'm going to throw a ass in the bin and lick it all over. That is kind of weird. And by kind of weird, I mean completely normal for me to say. I think he's going to have an orange berry again because he's obsessed with... He's going to have an oral berry. <laughs> yeah, because I've made it something dirty. I can make anything dirty. Like, legitimately. So I'm going to call that an oral berry, I guess. So it's going to go ahead and growth, which means it raises attack and special attack. Pretty good. Oh, uh, you chose a good move as usual. Yeah, I chose whatever super effective, bro. Alright, then just go with a couple more incinerates, and that should be enough to finish this guy off. Maybe, way be one more. Maybe one more. We'll finish this off. It's gonna go with another growth. So that's bad. So it might be able to do a. Uh, it might be able to take me out in one hit. If I, if it, this doesn't take it out. There we go. Okay, we beat it, and we got a critical hit. Unnecessary critical hit for the win. Yes. Alright, it's gonna go back into Perloin now, and let me make this clear, Yo-Yo's not an official team member of mine, he's just there for now, I'm gonna remove him later. I'm gonna leave him with me just so he doesn't get lonely in the old PC box, but I'm gonna leave him with me until I want to catch my sixth team member, and then when I catch my sixth team member, he'll be kicked out, and I'll get a new Pokemon on my sidebar. And by, and by sidebar, I mean team. Team as well as sidebar, you know, whatever. Right, I'm just going to go with another water gun here on this purloin. And hopefully we can take this thing out. One more hit. There we go. Right, we took out purloin. And that is goddamn awesome. We leveled up level 16. And none of these starter Pokemon evolve until they're level 17. So that kind of sucks. But it's fine. It's, it's fine, you know. You don't have to worry too much. I see it. So that's how you battle. Out of the way. Psh, shove. What was that about? Bianco, are you warning? Well, those guys, obviously. Hey, remember those are people headed that way. But why are you running now? Oh, seriously, they run so fast. Miss, oh my Pokemon! The voice crack is the girl ever. Bianca, really? Why were you running? You have to hear this. Those people stole these Pokemon's girl. They stole the Pokemon's girl. Yes, should have spoken up sooner. Aaron. I said my real life name. Retro. We're gonna get the blah 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 blah. blah. I want that Pokeball, but I kind of want to annoy you guys as well. Next time, 
we're going to get that Pokeballs, and we're also going to go fight some kitties and then go save them, because that's probably what we should be doing, because someone's in trouble, but, uh, you know, we prioritize little fighting little kids. Anyways, thank you for watching, leave a like and a comment with feedback, it really helps, subscribe if you want to see more, follow me on Twitter for exclusive updates, and I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Pokemon White. Goodbye. I like ponies.